This video is a walkthrough of a site that's been burned many times. Uh, I've put up a couple different videos from this site of fire and fire effects. This, uh, this site was actually burned earlier this month in June of 2022. This is a spot I shot some earlier video of and posted, which I'll uh, put a link up to. This was a late season for us burn. It was a June burn, uh, probably the latest that this unit has ever been burned, uh, at least by us. The uh, intent with this was to, uh, to get a hot fire in here. Trending droughty in this part of the world. So it was dry to begin with. We've had uh, less than half an inch of rain in June so far by mid-June. So it's been dry. Uh, temperatures are warm and uh, as you can see uh, we had a, a pretty hot fire in here uh, took everything down really down to mineral soil and uh, the earlier video uh, that I shot from about this spot uh, that I put up about uh, uh, longleaf pine in here regenerating um, unlike other sites in Virginia that have been planted with uh, longleaf pine uh, this one hasn't been planted. This is natural regeneration. However, the uh, the overstory that generated the seeds uh, is not Virginia native longleaf. What you see behind me here is some of that uh, that regeneration that uh, got pretty pretty toasty in here. But the uh, the intent of this burn was to uh, to try and uh, set back. This regeneration, you say, well, why, why is that? Isn't the, uh, isn't the goal here to uh, to get longleaf reestablished and, and regenerating? In the efforts to restore native longleaf, um, you're going to sacrifice the uh, the stuff that you know is not native or uh, is uh, has some question. This is a state natural heritage site. Uh, that, so it is uh, important to uh, to try to maintain that um, native species in here. So this area behind me here is where we had the uh, the slop over a few years ago that I uh, I put a video up about. Um, I can uh, intercut some of the fire behavior from that. The fuels are a little heavier in here. You can see the the shrub layer in here behind me that uh, contributed to that fire behavior. Yeah, it's across the road, multiple places up here, Steve. It's burned through the road, so you guys aren't going to be able to get up here. Um, on up the road a bit, uh, where the stand is, uh, is much more open, uh, the fire you're going to get in there is primarily uh, the surface fuels, uh, the litter, and the, the needle cast. So, a little bit different in, uh, in an area like this, where... Um, where you have a more complex fuel matrix in there to fuel the fire. As I walk along here, this is the opposite side of the road. This is where we had the slop over um, in here a few years ago. Uh, that would have been the first fire entry, um, effectively. Uh, it, it got over there, spotted over there across the road into this and uh, burned pretty intently, intensely. And uh, if I walk on up the road here, uh, you'll see the transition for where we uh, where we put a little check line in and uh, and caught the slop over. And you can see that marked change uh, as you uh, 
as you lose that fire influence. Mm -hmm. 